Artificial insemination, a term that's usually linked with women trying to get pregnant. But this technology has been extended to animals, and in the dairy industry, it's big business. Here in Jamaica, cattle are artificially inseminated. Why? To breed the best cows that will produce the best milk. Superior animals that give farmers a better chance of improving their bottom line. The Ministry of Agriculture's Research and Development Division, the Bodles Research Station, has been applying artificial insemination, or AI, to help improve reproduction and the genetics of farm animals. We here at Bodles, we will choose both a female based on the, the bloodline or the, the, the type, the genotype, and we'll inseminate this, them based on which bull we want and which genetic mix we think would give us advantage in, produce, in, in producing milk. The process begins with a manual collection of sperm. It's then taken to the lab where they test for signs of abnormality and determine whether the sperm can make the journey to the egg. This is what pretty much we're looking for. Sperm cells that have the right um, anatomical properties in terms of the shape of the head, no abnormalities, no double head. The benefits of artificial insemination are many. For the dairy industry, it means selected bulls will produce more offspring, thus increasing the selection intensity. Artificial insemination reduces the transfer of venereal diseases, as the collection process allows you to screen and detect them early. During natural breeding, a male will deposit more semen than is theoretically needed. With AI, Scientists dilute semen and extend the collected sample to create hundreds of doses from a single ejaculate. A sample like this is at a grade of about 85% and that will determine how far we extend the sample. We make the extender to extend the sample. So we move from maybe 5 ml of semen to a total volume of 120 ml of semen depending on the concentration. So moving from 5 ml of semen, which would pregnant one animal, to 240 straw, which has the potential to breed 240 animals. Once this process is completed, the straws containing semen are then sealed and properly labeled with the bull's brand number and year. They are then stored in a cold room and frozen by the fumes of liquid nitrogen at a temperature of minus 80 degrees centigrade. The frozen sample is then placed in liquid nitrogen where it remains viable. Later, when the sperm has been given clearance, it's time for insemination. And after a few months, a sterile set of calves superior animals that will produce milk of the highest quality. These calves will not be allowed to take milk from their mother or mate naturally as they get older. Some will be transferred to farms to be integrated into the farm population, but for those left behind, the cycle continues. Artificial insemination, agriculture and technology working together to produce a better breed of cattle, more nutritious milk, and better financial returns for farmers.